Alright folks, this is my, my first tutorial around this. I recently got the MKS Extreme 2.0. Sounds beautiful. But you might have realized it's connected to my computer. It's not coming out of the iPad sound, but as I'm playing this, it's coming out from the main speakers that's connected to my UAD. So I just wanted to show you guys how to actually set this up. Audio and also MIDI. So I believe John Mike uh, did a video around this using Logic, but I use Ableton a lot and I haven't seen any tutorial, tutorials with Ableton um, around this setup. So I hope this could help you guys. I was actually going to connect this US UAB to lightning adapter because I thought I had to connect my MIDI like the nano control and the, the Bluetooth that I have on this Yamaha EX5 but you can actually connect everything to the computer and then have like a um, rerouting between iPad and the computer both the audio and MIDI which is beautiful so how you set that up is as soon as you connect Directly, you have to make sure that it's directly connected to the lightning to your uh, MacBook. Once you do that, you're going to see this option. I call it my pad. Um, that button will be enable. Um, as soon as you click enable, you're going to see this, I guess, aggregate audio device. Um, and then what this would do is any audio that's coming out in and out as well. So if I'm coming if I play audio from the iPad, this is basically saying, hey, I'm going to receive the um, iPad audio into this and then um, output into the device that this is set to. For me, it's the um, UAT audio. So once you set that up, go to your live settings, preferences, and this is the only difference. So this when you first click your i mean when you first open it that will be off but you must have that on because what this is saying is hey i'm gonna output the these mid ports that i have this input i don't think i have to have on but this bluetooth that i have that's connected to es5 nano control 2 that's connected to the computer i'm saying that's the input and i'm gonna output this mid uh midi information to the ipad so once you do that you must go to or select any of the MIDI track or create a MIDI track and set the MIDI to iPad because this option would not be there if you didn't do the on before. So as soon as you click on, you're gonna see MIDI input coming in. And on this guy, how I set that up is right now, I mean, you could put it to stereo, it doesn't really um, matter. I think stereo would be better because you're just basically sitting in into as a stereo, how you do that is go to the live preferences and audio. Audio input device has to be iPad. So as you can see, it's like a roundabout table. So I'm sending the MIDI out from Ableton. It's gonna go to iPad and because we set this device up, it's saying the audio that's gonna come in through iPad now I'm basically setting on the Ableton to receive that audio here. In this multi output device, that's an aggregate device that I have that has multiple of a lot of things that I, that I have connected to here. But the main thing is the universal audio. So you, I could definitely set this up to universal audio and it'll still come out. So that's the important part. Make sure the audio input device is iPad because you want to receive the audio that's coming out from your coming yeah out from the iPad, and make sure that the MIDI um, to iPad is selected and receive audio from, which this represents the iPad audio. Now, if I go to this guy, as you can see, select it. And also because everything's routed towards this before, from this, as you can see, I'm saying, Hey, even the nano control 
send it out to iPad. So watch. This is the cool part. So you can have multiple MIDI devices connect to your PC and I just did a learn on these guys. So if you want to learn these guys, so select it and then if you click learn, as you can see my CC1 is already learned. So watch, watch. I'm going to move this guy. You see my finger here? I'm going to move one. You see one up and down. Two, three, and then I set these solo buttons as well. Watch. Solo, off. This, you would have to have a, is it a latch? I forget. I'll probably have to change that out so it's actually on hold. So if I click on it, I must make sure to actually leave it as um, solo. And I think that's something that I have to learn to have uh, when I connect this nano control to USB because I have this um, originally connected to iPad and the latch and the hold is a little different between how it's connect when it's connected to iPad and, and your PC or desktop. So anyways, I hope this is helpful for you guys. So at least, it, I mean, I'll, I'll fix this solo and mute and maybe I'll edit another video about this, but at least I could do the volume. So watch. I am going to do a piano. And then I'm gonna add the pad. You hear it, right? Awesome. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. And by the way, you guys should definitely get this app. If you guys use AUM or UM, however you wanna call it, I think this could definitely replace that. Um, since you can have eight layers of sound, eight patches, um, and you can actually go to live set that allows you to have multiple set of these eight sounds that you guys have. So you basically have eight times six of all the sounds that you want to have in one session. And I'm pretty sure you could learn this. Can I make this into learn? <laughs> I don't know if I could learn that into MIDI. Maybe that's not possible, but that's, this is simple enough. You just click on these guys and it'll go to different um, live sets. Yeah, anyways, I hope this has been helpful. Um, yeah, God bless you all. Happy playing. Yay, see ya. Um, all right, so uh, on my video, when I was pressing these buttons, it was momentary. That was the word that I was looking for. So what you have to do is, I've actually been changing changing the, um, what do you call it? Uh, let's see if I can make this a little bigger for you. Yeah, I've actually been changing these buttons um, by clicking here. You can see that it's set to toggle now. Um, until now, it's momentary. So if I go to these ones that haven't been done yet, you can see it's momentary. So what you have to do to make sure that it works with your iPad, um, at least in the example that I gave you with the the um, apps that I have, an iPad, uh, you have to click on to toggle, go to the next one, go to toggle. I'm just, I think this is easier for me, so I'm gonna go right button, toggle, this one, toggle. Hopefully you fast forward this in your video and watch, blah, blah, blah. Toggle, toggle, perfect. Now, do I have to save save this? Save, I guess I do save. Is that it? Do I save? Save. Um, All right, with a clear video camera too. Watch, if I press solo, now it's toggling. Perfect. So now you're able to actually play your set just like you would. And then I'll just mute the pad just like that. Right now, 
had is simply just being trailed off. But if I let go of my sustain pedal, if I play. Perfect. If I put the mute off. Yep. Pat's coming out. Perfect. Awesome. Hope it was helpful. Yay. I'm so excited to actually use this. Awesome. See ya.